Excuse me, mister. Did you tell me where I'll find a fellow named Joe Wilson? Is that supposed to be funny, kid? No. I was told he was in town. I gotta see him. Look, son. See that man standing over there in front of the saloon? Yeah. Go ask him where Walton is. Thanks, mister. Hey, reckon that's one of Walton's tricks? I don't know. Excuse me, mister. The man over there said you could tell me where Joe Walton is. Get away from here, kid. What's the matter with me asking about Joe Walton? He's my uncle, and I gotta see him. right here all the time. Just once more. Up a hundred. Seven. I'm beginning to think you're right about that lucky bullet of yours. I ain't never seen such a run of luck. Yeah, I'm sure glad this came my way. That's sure lucky for you. But not so lucky for the kid. Hey, how is he? Gotta be getting up pretty soon, shouldn't he? He's coming along all right. Kate's kind of babying him too much, I think. They sure did take to each other. I gotta stay here. Why, Bill, don't you like it here? Yeah, sure. You've been awful good to me. But I got things to do. What kind of things? Well, first I gotta find my uncle. 
And we gotta go back to clean out a couple of no-good skunks. Run me off our place. After my pa. After your pa what, Bill? Died. Would you like to tell me about it, Bill? Well, ever since I was big enough to straddle a horse, me and my pa and a couple of hired hands, I up herds of wild horses. Broke them and sold them. Did all right, too. Made good money. A couple of months ago, we rounded up a bunch and my pa was breaking them. Well, he was breaking this horse and cinched it. He never came to. Broken neck, they said. After that, I said I'd run the outfit like my pa did. These guys just laughed. Said nobody owned wild horses. Told me to get. And I went for a gun and took it away. That's why I gotta find my uncle, so we can go back and settle with them guys. Well, eat your dinner. Kid, this bullet just stopped came from your Uncle Joe's gun. And it was meant for me. Is he dead? Well, he shot first. When he wasn't looking, I guess he had it coming. Well, what's happened sort of makes us partners, Bill. You're my good luck. Well, now eat your dinner, Bill. Miss Kate, I can't remember my mother, but I bet she was just like you. That settles it, Matt. Settles what? We're going away from here and take him with us. We owe him something. Don't you feel that way? Sure, sure. I'll take care of him. He brought me luck. I'll teach him things. You will never make a gambler out of him. From you? That's funny. No, I mean it. We're going to go away from here, not, not live over this joint. I like it here. This time I'm going to have my way. No matter what you say or do. You can beat me if you want to. I won't back down. Do you hear me? I won't back down. He ever beat you? Did he? Oh, I know, Bill. I was just talking kind of wild. Matt and I row a little, but that's all, isn't it, Matt? Sure. I wouldn't strike a woman. Ain't talking about any woman. I mean her. You better get back to bed now. Anybody ever hurt you? I'll kill him. <laughs> From the look in his eyes, I believe he would, too. Here they come now. I don't like any of this. Yeah. 
best rough rider. But you even do rope buster. I can ride all right. That's fine. I own the best quarter horse in the state, Blue Chip. I'm going to let you ride him down to Grand Place. want to keep him there for a while. Is he a real special breed? Yeah. Comes from the Marshall Ranch. Finest stock there is. You know John Grant? Yeah. Hello, Bill. Hi, Mr. Grant. Already done? As soon as Pete's got Blue Chip settled. Hey, Pete! Coming right out. Is that Blue Chip? That's him. Gee. Is this what they call a quarter horse? Sure, can't you tell? Look at that jowl. Depth of his chest. Forearms. Built all to the ground. Fast? Fastest thing around here. Here you are, Mr. Daggett. Thanks. Thank you. Here you are, Bill. I'm putting him in your care. You're working for me. I want you to train him and keep him in condition. I'm putting him in a big race the 4th of July. I'll take good care of him. Fine. Maybe I'll let you ride him in the race. Would you like that? I like that real fine. <laughs> All right, we'll see. Now look, I'll uh, I'll sell that old horse of yours, but in the meantime, here's five dollars. I won't need it. Mm, I think you'd better take it anyway. All right. Take good care of him, John. Like the judge said. Oh, we'll get along, won't we, Bill? Sure thing. Let's go. The best horse I ever rode. He used to belong to a fellow named Bob Marshall. A couple of months ago, he brought the horse to town for a shoeing. Got mixed up in a card game. The next day, he gave Matt Daggett a bill of sale for him. Marshall's tried to buy him back a dozen times, but Matt always says no. Says he likes the name. He wants all the blue chips in sight. Funny reason to like a horse. I like him if he didn't have no name at all. Guess you know it was on account of blue chip your uncle got killed, don't you? Was that it? Yeah, Matt hired him to ride the chip in a race with a horse and brought to town. It was a mix-up at the start. Blue chip got off bad, lost. Lost Matt a pile, but he didn't bat an eye, and said your uncle got drunk and started flashing a lot of money. Then Matt made some remarks, and your uncle got mad. That's how he come to get himself killed. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, I know. I met him that day. Hi, kid. Hello. Yeah, I looked all over. Ain't you got nothing to drink in this shack? Yeah, I think so. Well? I ain't had time to think yet. You've had a couple of weeks. I know, but, well, things are different just now. Bill... You better go put the horses up. All right. for a young lady to act. I don't 
here, Uncle Bob. Blue Chip's mine by rights, and you know it. Now, Matt Daggett has a bill of sale for the horse, and that settles it. But you promised him to me. Now, you just put that stick down and run along home, young lady. You saddle tramp. If you ever get in my way again, I'll ride you down. You're Bill Walton, aren't you? Yeah. I'm Bob Marshall. I used to own Blue Chip. Yeah, I know. He looks to be in pretty good shape, Bill. Yeah, he's fine. He's a great horse, Mr. Marshall. A great horse. I understand that Matt Daggett wants you to train him for the Fourth of July race. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'll be glad to help you all I can. You see, my ranch is right next to Grant's here, and uh, I'll drop over once in a while. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Marshall. <laughs> Bye, Bill. Bye. Oh, uh, Bill, uh, I apologize for my niece. <laughs> it's all right. She's just a girl. <laughs> so long, Bill. So long, Mr. Marshall. Now let's get on to cases. Are you going or not? Well, I... Yes or no? I don't know why you picked me, Tom. I never done nothing like this before. Excuse me, just thinking about it, I won't be any good to you. Oh, yes, you will. The boss side has been up good. That's why he picked you. You may be a little squeamish, but you'll stick. But people, everybody thinks I'm honest. Even though I don't amount to much, they trust me. That's just why we like you for this deal. Nobody will tie you in with it. Now, come on. Did you hear me? Bill, if I'm gone for a few days, do you think you can make out alone? Being alone don't bother me none. Tom here wants me to go up north with him to help pick out some cattle. That's all right. I, uh, I wouldn't want Miss Kate to know. See, I told her I'd watch out after you real good. Don't worry, I won't ever tell her. Thanks. You're a good kid, Bill. a good horse like you. Don't worry, we'll soon have it fixed up. There you are, fella. That looks more like it, don't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, hello, Mr. Marshall. Hello, Bill. Boy, you sure have done a lot of work around here in three days. Blue Hello, boy. I'm glad to take care of Yeah. <laughs> He's sure spoiled. He's like that tomboy niece of mine. I don't know about the girl. For me, he's perfect. <laughs> uh, say, Bill, have you ever ridden in a quarter horse race? No. Ever see one? Not like they tell me they ride him up here. Well, this horse can spin on a dime. He's willing and fast. Fast as anything around here. He's got a fighting heart. No matter who he belongs to, he's like one of my family. I don't want to see him ruined. He's got to be right here. He'll get the stove up. Your uncle could sure handle this horse. He was a good horseman. Did he lose that race on purpose? Well, honestly, I... I don't know, Bill. But you see, he liked liquor and didn't like Matt Daggett, and... Well, there are lots of ways of losing a race, especially if you don't want to win it. I don't know. Well... Whoa! Miss Kate! Miss Kay. Hello, Bill. Help me down. You're a sight. What on earth did you get into? Been doing a little cleaning up. Whitewashing. It's a good thing I brought some clothes out for you. Oh, these are just some old things with Mr. Grant's. Well, is there somebody going to help me down? Oh, sure. Yeah. Let me help you. Thanks, Mr. Marshall. You're welcome. My, you ladies are a long way from home. Hello, Kate. Hello, Robert. Oh, I'm exhausted. If you think I'm making that trip back again today, you're crazy. We're staying here overnight if I have to find a haystack to crawl into. All right, we'll stay. But Bill and John can crawl into the haystack. We'll take the cabin. <laughs> Where is John? Oh, he's away. Went up north with another fellow. About some cattle. Just for a day or so. Be right back. I guess I'd better clean up. Go on in. I'll be right back. I suppose you heard about the two fellows who didn't rob the Corville stage. No, when? Yesterday. Lucky the money box was folded down in the stage. They didn't get anything. But old Monday, the stage guard, was killed. They catch them? Not up to the time we left. Well, I'm getting out of this time before I melt. 
How come Daggett sent the kid out here with the horse? Has he got something up his sleeve? I don't know. John and Matt are mixed up in something together. But about the boy. Matt stacked the cards on me, he and the judge. If I'd known about it in time, I would have asked you to take him. John Grant isn't a bad fellow, but he's not the man to raise this boy. Oh, John's all right. He's not too smart, but at least he's always been straight. I know Judge Cumble would have let you take him. I've already got Ricky Summers at the range. To say nothing of that wild niece of mine. <laughs> Marshal in town? Yes. Where can I find him? I don't know. Why? I gotta see him. What for? Well, I, I want to borrow $20. Oh, I see. Oh, I'll work it out for him any way you want. But I just gotta have $20. What for? To bet on blue chip. The guy in the barbershop was shooting off his mouth, and I had to call him. I didn't have enough money, so... Well, anyway. Wait! Here, take this. Here. Well, okay, kid, it's my money. But don't you tell anyone. Gee, thanks. I'll work it out for you now. I'm only doing it for blue chip. Thanks, anyway. Hey! Thanks again. Luke Benson had a lot of friends in this town, Roper. So did old Monday, the stage guard. Some of the boys was to take a notion to come and get you. I don't rightly know if I could stop them. Don't you think you're kind of foolish to take all the blame yourself? Don't you worry about that. I ain't gonna take it alone. The sheriff just brought in Roper. Caught him up in Box Canyon. Huh? He killed Ruth Benson before they caught him, though. Doris, uh, tell Mike to fix us a couple of drinks, will you? Sure, Nan. Do you think they can make him talk? Depends. He'll expect us to get him loose. It's all right if somebody doesn't get the idea to string him up because he killed that deputy. Yeah, he's liable to talk his head off to a mob. When a man's being hung, he doesn't talk much, Don. What he says isn't heard. I don't know about you, but I need a drink. I hear you got Roper safe behind bars. Yep, and he's been doing a little talking. About the hold up and murder of old Monday, the stage guard. You better come along, John. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. John, let's go. But that's a lot of money for you to bet on a horse. What are you going to do if you lose? Look, you ain't going to lose. <laughs> Just a little mix-up, Bill. What's it all about, Mr. Marshall? They don't think he had anything to do with the stage. No money, do they? I don't know. Come on, Bill. Just a minute, Marshal. 
You think I don't know why you're trying to pin something on me? Because you know if that happened, my wife would pack up and leave me. And you'd like to have her do that, wouldn't you, Marshal? If you ever mention your wife's name and mine again, I'll break every bone in your body. Take it easy, Matt. He's done harm. Now, look. We can't take a chance on leaving him in debt. If Roper really starts to talk, this town will be too hot for all of us. Go over and get him. And shut him up. All right, let's go. Get out of here. Huh? Hey, Grandma Lansom. What? This? 